In today's program, we're here to discuss the strange phenomenon that is happening in current K-pop. Stans excusing their idols not being able to carry a tune, babysitting their faves as if they're not supposed to be actual singers, less and less live vocals, idols being scared and hesitant to sing into the microphone. <clears throat> To be honest, it all sounds the way struggle feels. Disclaimer: There are no negative intentions behind this video, and I'm not here to target a specific group or an idol. If you're gonna assume otherwise, that's on you. My goal for this video is to stay respectful and fair, but not delusional. K-pop is a music industry, but it is not a vocals-oriented one. Idols are not solely vocalists. They are dancers, rappers, performers, brand ambassadors, and more. Beautiful, talented people who do cool things on and off the stage. However, good singing is often lost along the way, inarguably. An average K-pop idol is a better dancer than a vocalist. What's more, fans don't pay much attention to vocals and in groups, the best vocalists are often less popular members. Don't believe me? Can you think of a group in which is the main vocalist who is the most popular member? Well, at least I don't think I can, personally. Can you? I'll wait. So things aren't looking or sounding too good. Wait, 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 but aren't idols trained prior to debuting? Yes, for years usually. K-pop trainees spend their time having all sorts of classes, practices, and even monthly evaluations in hopes to debut one day. Idols always describe their pre-debut trainee days as an incredibly challenging, often stressful time. And while I absolutely believe them, guys, I don't know what they're doing there exactly. I'm sure trainees work hard, but sure as hell, they're not having serious, good voice lessons. Otherwise, the current K-pop scene wouldn't have been full of talented, but clearly underdeveloped vocalists. Without a strong grasp of vocal technique, and solid sense of control. Idols like, and these are just a few examples, by the way. Jenny, Jisoo, Yujin, Yeji, Danielle, Jimin, Bang Chan, and more. Half talent, but little technique to back it up. Having to rely on intuition mostly, and not actual skill learned through good training, they are quite inconsistent vocalists with unrefined techniques and limited constricted ranges. The problem with all of this is that it's not safe. When you don't have the basics down yet, you shouldn't fast forward to more difficult stuff. Underdeveloped vocalists are given parts that are too hard for them to perform safely without taking its toll on their vocal health. Companies want their idols to sing a certain way. You do very little to properly prepare them and invest in their vocal skills. Yikes. With the focus being on anything else but good singing, there are many idols who not only do not improve vocally over time, but actually regress. I will not be naming names, it is unfortunate, but yes, there are many of them. Of course, much better vocalists do exist in K-pop, but they had already been really good prior to even becoming a trainee. For example, this is Wendy of Red Velvet at just 16. And yes, all this very much includes SM Entertainment as well. Although it's true that there is more focus on the vocals over there, they also seem to simply be more likely to pick better vocalists during the audition process. However, there is not much that can be said about the vocal training of their trainees. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now let's talk a bit more about the expectations that K-pop stands have for vocalists, which are low. Yep, the bar isn't set too high. As we established, more recent K-pop scene is full of weaker vocalists. Intonation issues, breath support issues, various different kinds of tension, you know, bad stuff. And what you need to know about a lot of K-pop stands is that what they truly lack, among some other things, is perspective. K-pop can be quite isolating, so stands lock themselves in a bubble, where being able to sing one or two lines without going off-key is quite an accomplishment, which again, is not a high standard, it's quite laughable actually. With such low expectations, it's not hard to gain praise, right? So K-pop stands overuse praise in words like great, amazing, excellent, not to mention phrases like oh this person must be having CDs for breakfast, oh my god. It all leads K-pop stands to believe that for example, Winter Vespa, Jihyo of Twice, Jungkook of BTS, Hisung of and hyphen, Sugi of Red Velvet are in fact brilliant vocalists. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. Which is not the case. Am I being too bold right now? Absolutely not. And overused phrases and words lose meaning over time. However, don't get me wrong, they are well above average for K-pop standards. But the standard is the problem. Yes, Wendy is a great vocalist on her own, who outshines 99% of her peers. But better vocalists still do exist. Despite her skill, talent and technique, she's not the pinnacle of vocal ability. But I understand why you could think so looking at the third and fourth generation of K-pop only. Perspective matters. Now that I think about all this, I'm asking myself, do online vocal coaches have anything to do with this overpraise of less than good vocalists in K-pop? K-pop sense have this thing about them. They don't like to listen to any commentary in regards to their faves unless it's praise. And they also like to request videos. Voice teachers are professionals, however they're also creators who want their content to do well. Reacting to K-pop can be like walking on eggshells. So, honest analysis is often being switched for fan service. Does every idol need to be a good vocalist? Or a great vocalist? No. One of the things I love the most about K-pop groups is positions idols get. It's so cool! A few talented people, each person with different strength and specialty, come together to create something greater than its individual parts. Each person with different strength and specialty, there is absolutely no need for all idols to be on the same level vocally. Especially since, like I said earlier, they're not solely vocalists. But at the end of the day, they are musical artists. So good singing shouldn't be a bonus. That is all I have for you guys in this video. See you in my next one for now. Bye guys. Nope.